In this video, we're going to talk about how we can work with different environments while working with Spring Boot for automation testing. And we'll see how we can simplify our coding practices. So if you watched our earlier lecture, the application.properties file actually hold the app.url for maybe a production environment uh, test. And if we want to run a test on probably a QA environment, so what we can do is we can create another uh, file, something like application hyphen QA properties or whatever it is. Uh, you can just specify that. And let's say if I want to put like QA hyphen EA app dot Sami dot com. So this is for the QA application. So you have a separate uh, properties and separate configurations altogether. So there is only one at the moment. Let's say you're going to be executing in uh, different environments, uh, variables, and there are different connection strings. Or if you want to even execute in different browsers, you can mention all these details on this particular properties file. And that should be different for the production because maybe uh, there will be a different timeout settings of the browsers and things that you need to be putting. So you should be maintaining that on this particular application.properties file. So this is for the production. This is for the QA. Let's assume that uh, we have these two environments and we want to test on these two environments. And now in order to work with this kind of environments, all we're going to do is, let's say if you want to go back our test at the moment, you can see that we're getting the application's URL directly from just one environment. It always read from the application or properties file. But now we need to tell the Spring Boot that, hey, Spring Boot, just go and read from the application hyphen QA properties because I'm running my test on the QA profile option. So I'm just suddenly telling something called as profile. So this is what it's going to be defining for you while you work with it. So I'm just going to leave these things as it is right now. So let's try to uh, execute this code and see what's going to happen. So you can see that currently if I'm trying to execute, uh, you can see that it's going to read from the same eaapp.sami.com website, which we know. But now I wanted the test to tell that, okay, read this profile, the QA profile for me while running that test, this test. So how to do that? You can go to this test and go to the edit configurations on the environments variable you can use something called as spring dot profiles dot active is equal to qa so if you specify this spring start profiles dot active dot qa which means you're telling to run this particular test on the qa environment so let's try to run this and see what's going to basically happen so if I try to run this test right now, you can see that it's actually reading the qa-eaapp.sami.com. So it automatically took the QA profile for us by reading it from the resources. So we have not even did even a single code change and we have just changed the profiles option on the configurations and everything started working for us. So this is the amazing thing that you can see the Spring Boot can do for us while working with the profiles option. So I'm talking about profiles, profiles, profiles. Where is this profile coming from? I have not even specified even a single profile so far. So let's say I have a profile and you can use this at, there is something called as profile annotation. So this profile annotation is going to be basically doing this magic for you. So you can specify here the profile, like if the profile is not equal to QA, for example. So if this is not equal to QA, then just run this particular test. At the moment, you can see that we have given the profile as QA. And if it is not equal to QA, only then run this particular uh, test. So let's see what's going to basically happen. So you can see that it is always running just the QA. And let's say if I edit this guy, and maybe if I just remove this profile, apply, okay, and run. You can see that it is gonna be running the production for you. So this is coming because your profile at the moment is not a QA, and that's the reason you're actually printing this particular value over here. So if it is a QA profile, so let's say I'm just going to change this profile to QA right now. And if I try executing it, you can see that it is always falling back directly 
to the application.properties file. So in Spring Boot, if you don't really specify any of the profiles over here on the environments variable, it is always gonna fall back to the application.properties file, which is the default properties file, and it's gonna try reading it from there. So if you have specified like a profile explicitly, and if you wanted the test to run just on that particular profile, then you need to pass that profile on the configuration over here. If not, it's gonna fall back directly to start using the application.properties file, which is the default properties file it is gonna read from. So this is how Spring Boot profile actually works. And this is how you can read profiles and stuff, which is kind of very, very handy while working with reading and working with different environments in Spring Boot.